Hey, hey, hey! Hello, everybody. If Maguire here today with a video that I wanted to get out. It's important to me. Finished Mirage uh, this weekend, and the story just it it got me. Um, for those of you who are requesting Mirage and are quite there yet. And don't want spoilers, that's fine. I won't be around to be quick off. Um, but today's a theory video. Haven't got a theory video out in a while. Um, because basically, we learned that Mallory is actually Grandmother Raven's daughter. That's what we learned yesterday after defeating Old Cobb. Um, we were unwilling to pretty much kill old Cobb. Mallory tried to attack him and he basically captured her and attacked her. And it's really weird the story of old Cobb because he wasn't affected by the fact that he wasn't mad about the fact that he wasn't gonna get to mess up with the sands of time he wanted Mallory that was basically his goal Mallory casts some sort of spell old cop basically catches it Mallory gets a dumbfounded look on her face and he pretty much takes him takes her my real question is why was Baba Yaga taking care of her? Um, Baba Yaga actually, I think, called her her daughter or something. Is Malori adopted? Uh, was Baba Yaga under Grandmother Raven's spell? A lot of questions run, ran through my mind when I found that out. A lot of questions... Uh, came through a lot of things I had to think about and I had to think about shadow a little bit more and I had to think about the void out here and what is this void and I've contemplated it a little bit more I don't know because we know there's uh, the cabal which is basically they're the ones who created the arcana I believe they called it the Arcanum in the beginning, um, this in the dialogue. But the scholars did not like what they were going to do. Because the Arcanum, as we found out, is basically a safe haven. All right? It's a place that is actually not connected to the spiral. Meaning... The Arcanum is like a ship. The Arcanum is... <laughs> it is the space station of the Spiral, basically. So it's a lot cooler looking. Uh, a lot bigger, I presume. <laughs> but... I've come to the conclusion because if we go back to Winter Tusk, we go back to Winter Tusk, Grandmother Laban was kind of locked up too. I don't remember that dialogue completely, but there's no way the Coven could have done that if Grandmother Raven is who I think she is. She is, I want to call her one of the first beings. Grandmother Raven was locked up. Old Cobb was locked up. We freed Grandmother Raven. We freed Old Cobb. And when we first met them, we will we don't know if Grandmother Raven is evil or not yet. But when we first met Old Cobb, he helped us destroy Morgan. 
He led us on the path to make sure that we could get rid of Morgana. But if you do the Obelisk quest, and then the quest that comes after it in Chrysalis, you will get to uh, this place where Old Cobb pretty much tells us the same, like, he's the narrator of that. And he basically says the same prophecy Morgan had, and that he was going to take the spiral into his arm. I'm not completely certain what Old Cobb is doing. I don't know if Old Cobb is evil. Because what he basically said was, I'm going to take a spiral, and I'm going to fix it. That's basically what that prophecy said. But then Grandmother Raven also helped us in Rizalheim. Is it possible that Grandmother Raven is the bad one? Because if you listen to... Um, I made a video a while ago, it's called Grandmother Raven's Threat. When I was questioning if Laura summoned a storm. Basically... She says... She threatens us. She says... She's clearly disappointed with the way we... Um, have absorbed shadow. How shadow magic was basically what we used. We were using shadow magic at the point in Polaris that Grandma the Raven was extremely disappointed in us. She didn't want us using shadow magic. Um, she was just, she pretty much wants us to take the light path. But as we know with Morgan, we had to fight fire with fire, quite literally. We had to fight shadow with shadow. Grandmother Raven says, basically, she's worried we're going to be consumed by shadow, like Morgan was consumed by shadow. Old Cobb is shadow, alright, he is. Um... Uh, he's actually Shadow and Storm if you fight him in Mirage. He also says that in Sky, Raven and Spider played, and on the ground they fought. Old Cobb and Grandmother Raven are basically brother and sister. They are Ying and Yang, Light and Shadow. From what I can tell from this at its current point. That being said, who's good, who's evil? Or are they both evil and they think they're doing good? I don't know. And at this point, there are three original beings, alright? The first three beings. Because it said that they basically, like, played in the shadow, like, in his shadows, like, like, away from the sun, basically. Grandfather Bartleby. The grandfather tree, old one-eye, who isn't, he has his eye back. Um, we can go back and fire into Bartleby's eye. Um, he got his eye back. And basically... Now, it's it's really confusing. So the three creatures were Bartleby, this this tree that we're in right now, Bartleby, Grandmother Raven, and Old Cobb, the spider, basically. Old Cobb's children were the rat, the scorpion, and the bat. And we fought the rat and we fought the scorpion. We did that. Next is the bat. Grandfather Bartleby's children, the dragon titan, the ice giant, and the storm titan. We don't know anything about Grandmother Raven's child until the end of Mirage, when we find out that 
Malori is Grandmother Raven's daughter, basically. So, I'm gonna call her Mother Malori. I don't know why. I feel like... There's a lot of questions that's running through your guys' head, and I know... This video may have made more questions, like... What are you talking about, David? You're completely crazy. Basically, he's remembering all the worlds. He's remembering all of the adventures we had. Is Bartleby... <clears throat> Is Bartleby going to tell me... What happened... Between... Will we... Seek to Bartleby for guidance... For what happened between Grandmother Raven and Old Cobb. Because Bartleby stated that he needed time to remember. Maybe he's trying to decipher what's been going on. Maybe his eye knew, and maybe that's why the well, the Cabal wanted it. Uh, something with the sands of time. They wanted to restore the first world. Because Grandfather Bartleby, his roots are so deep, it connects ev each and every world in the spiral. Alright? Even the worlds you don't know about, which we know with Lydia Grey Rose is her world, I think her world's like the candy world or something like that, or the food world, same place the gobblers came from, but Wizard City, Croctopia, Mollybo, Mushu. Dragon's Fire, Grizzleheim, Celestia, Wisteria, Safari, Avalon, Azteca, and Chrysalis even. Polaris and, the, and Mirage. The Arcana, as we mentioned earlier, is not connected at all to any of the worlds. But what we found out was... Okay, also, notice these encryptions. These, this writing inside of Bartleby. Bartleby keeps the spiral door inside of him. I don't know if this is the first spiral door. Because if you look here, you have the Ravenwood Banner. Right, you have the Ravenwood Manor. But then you have all these... This writing. And it's... Some of it looks like it was from, like... It looks Grizzleheim-ish. But not all of it makes sense. You know, there's carpet and stuff put out inside of Bartleby. Is it natural? Maybe. I don't know. It's something I have to think about basically who Bartleby is. Um, every world has a place where they keep the world gate. Um, like Marleybone, for example, they keep it in a chapel. Right? They literally, this is a church, okay? Think about this for a minute. They sit here every Sunday, right? And they basically worship the spiral door. The world gate. In all of its glories. Right? And you have Mr. Preacher. He comes up here and preaches how amazing that gate is. And how Marley Bone would not exist without it. Basically. But I've also come to the conclusion that Bartleby, his roots are directly connected to each and every spiral door. Each and every single one. So in worlds like Azteca, places that got completely destroyed based on the storyline, even though you could still go to Azteca. When those door when that when those worlds got destroyed. 
Bartleby's roots are just hanging there. They probably got stung by the damage that caused. But the prophecy is the mirror will break, the horn will call, from my shadows I strike, and the skies fall. Which we hear both old cops say it in narrating that story once you do all the obelisk quests and stuff. But then it's also Morgan's prophecy. And he talks about a chosen one. There's a lot of possibilities. I've gone on to a 15 minute tangent today, fam. If you thought it was interesting, uh, I know theories, a lot of people like theories. If you want to see more theories videos, let's get this video to 15 likes. And I'll make some more theory videos. Um, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe and peace out.